search for missing Clarendon teacher Natalie Dawkins ends in tragedy. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Viewers, the search for the four parts primary school teacher Natalie Dawkins, who had been missing since Tuesday the 30th of March, ended with a tragic development. The police are reporting that a body they believe to be that of Miss Dawkins was found in Clarendon. Deputy Police Commissioner in Charge of Crime, Fitz Bailey, revealed this afternoon that the search ended in tragedy. Unfortunately, this morning, doing an operation in the Sandy Bay area of Clarendon, and based on information received by the police, a decomposed body of a female, which we believe is that of Miss Natalie Dawkins, was discovered. We have secured significant amount of evidence, both scientific and other types of evidence, in support of our investigation. And some of the things I cannot disclose, as you will understand, the, the nature of the investigation. Uh, we are confident also that we will get to the bottom. The motive for the killing of Miss Dawkins, uh, we are confident that we will get to that. DCP Bailey says clothing items were also recovered from the scene. He said that the body believed to be Miss Dawkins was found in an advanced state of decomposition. It is badly decomposed based on what we saw on the ground in terms of the body parts are all over the, the, the area of interest. Mm -hmm. And um, we saw like female clothes in um, the skull is separated from the other part of the body that sort of thing. DCP Bailey also revealed that the man who was killed by the police when he attempted to sell Natalie's vehicle had visited the area where Miss Dawkins' body was found. We are convinced, based on our investigation, that Jeffrey Bedward, who was fatally shot by the police, was at Miss Dawkins' residence within the same period when she went missing after 11 on the 30th of um, March 2021. And we are also confident that he was in the, in the area where the skeleton remain of what were discovered. DCP Bailey also gave an overview of the investigation thus far. On Tuesday, the 30th of March, 2021, Miss Natalie Dawkins, 40 year, 44 years old, teacher and bailiff of 29 Denby Crawl, Maypen, Clarendon, was at her home when about 11.24, the alarm to her car went off. She was telephoned by her neighbor, and after that, she disappeared and has not been seen since. A report was made to the police on the 1st of April 2021 and an investigation commenced. All the protocols relating to missing persons were observed, including several searches carried out at different locations by the police. On the 3rd of the 4th, 2021, as a result of police intelligence, an operation was conducted in Bellas Gate, St. Catherine, where one Jeffrey Bedwards, 20 years old, of Bellas Gate and Sandy Bay, engaged the police in a shootout. He was shot and killed, and a .38 revolver seized. Also, a car which turned out to be that of Miss Dawkins. That's a blue Toyota Wish, which was actually stolen as well. Three other persons have since been taken into custody in relation to the investigation. Two televisions, television which we believe are the property of 
Miss Dawkins were also recovered. During a search of the man's house, the man who was fatally shot by the police. Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Like the video before you go. Please subscribe if you haven't done so. And remember to share the video with your friends and family. And browse the channel for more quality content. Until next time, walk good, my friends. Teach them!